the awesome Aston Lee. And Lulu. All right, the third Batman trailer has dropped, and right in the title, they tell you what they're going to be focusing on. There's going to be some more Catwoman in this. Nice. Yeah. This is much needed because I feel like the one thing that's been missing in the Batman trailer to date so far is that they tease Catwoman, but it feels like she's almost in a background role. Like she's not really, a, like, I don't know what she's adding. And I think she's such an interesting character that they really need to make it more about her as well. And that connection that she has with Bruce Wayne and Batman because she knows, she, she knows. So I, I'm hoping they're going to get into all that. Interesting. I always love the combination of Batman and Catwoman. You just like any woman that kicks ass. Yeah, that too. That any too. movie that's good or bad. <laughs> but I, honestly, at this point, I'm more convinced this movie is going to be good. I remember the first time I saw the very first trailer, I'm like... <laughs> Uh, you know what? I don't like this brooding Batman. It seems like we've already seen so much of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, do we need another variant? But if they do this right, and this is the part where I think they have to pay attention, Warner Brothers, all right? Catwoman. Don't make her a one-off character. Just don't, you know, don't kill her off an end. Don't have her run off and scurry off like you can never find him again. She's a really interesting character. They have some really interesting dynamics mm -hmm. in the comic books that you can explore. And I think that actually helps expose you know the, the flaw that is batman and bruce wayne in many ways she saves him but at the same time she's poisoned to him I, it's just really fascinating dynamic so i hope she comes back to a sequel because you know they're going to make a sequel to this and let her actually play out the whole arc through the whole trilogy then you're on to something mm. different that's different. That would be different. Otherwise, it's the same old Batman. He's lonely. Oh, I got nobody except for you, Alfred. Can we cuddle and spoon? Like, oh, you know, we've seen that. What the heck? Uh, by the way, if you want some cool commentary, check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. Even got a Catwoman That's fantasy true. going on in that one uh -huh. right there. Oh, <laughs> snap. I'm digging this new Batman feel. I freaking love it. Sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. You know, you really could be doing more for this city. Your family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. Oh, damn. Riddler is asking for you. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? You came. I've been trying to reach you. Riddler's latest. It's all about the Waynes. If we don't stand up, no one will. You got a lot of cats. I'm thinking about strays. The bat and the cat. Nice ring. You new friend of yours? I'm not so sure. I'm just here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. You're part of this too. Stay still. How am I part of this? Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. I feel like I'm giving oh, away a little bit too much here. Way. Alfred. All right, so there's some family secrets. He's still away. He's involved in this? No, he's not involved. How do you know? He's a vigilante. Who are you under there? What are you hiding? Selena, don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. <laughs> it can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence you may find. Justice. The answer's justice. Come on, vengeance. Let's get into some trouble. This damn it is so freaking so dark it really is dark oh i hope my. it's not so dark too dark to the point we where can. you're squinting you're like what's what's going on like some movies they try to like capture that dark essence and like 
Yeah. Give me some lighting at least, right? Like, right. Uh, but I am so impressed with Cat Mom in here. She does a lot of uh, action. She that's has a true. Lot of, she looks um, like she does some good fighting here. Um, but that's the reason why you're impressed? Babe, trust well, me. There's more to her than just fighting. Catwoman is a interesting antagonist at the same time allied to Batman. And it's that dynamic, right, mm. that makes you, like, unsure about drawing the line. Same thing with Batman. Like, you're really unsure about him really at the end of the day, right? He's a vigilante. He's not a hero. Mm. He's not someone you should look up to. In particular, I think what's interesting here is that they're bringing up something about, like, uh, some dark past, I think, in the Wayne family. Now that's an interesting dynamic. I actually think this probably might be the most interesting Batman story that they're going to tell. And I hope they do actually tell it over a series rather than just one video again. Again, don't kill her off. Cat has nine lives. Literally, literally, you know, get up to eight and seven. And I actually think the last series of Batman movies started to hint at some of the darker elements of what the comic book is about. But the comic book is really that. He, he is a brooding character. And I think what has been problematic with Batman cinema is like the TV shows early on and the first couple of Batman with Danny DeVito and Michael Keaton. They're all kind of comical, a little bit corny even. And uh, I don't think that's the best representation of Batman. I, I love those movies, mind you, but um, get into a darker side of him and how he constantly survives and these secrets. There's always secrets in Batman, like in the comic books, like something revealed. Um, and every character's flaw, whether Batman, Catwoman, Alfred, um, even Robin. And that, that's an interesting dynamic, I think.